Hello everyone, this is a tutorial for the Glamour Shot activity. Uh, we're going to be using Sam Batterberry here as our model for this activity. Now, one of the things you have to learn is when you're doing these adjustments, you want to make sure that you don't in any way alter the original. So the first thing we're going to do with your photograph is right click and duplicate the layer. Now this first layer, we're just going to call it blemishes and we're going to remove various blemishes from Sam. And so I'm going to zoom in here and I'll use different tools for this. So we've got tiny little things on Sam and there's two different tools you could use. You could use the clone stamp tool, which you're familiar with, or we can try the spot healing brush, which in this instance, because it's got small little things, will be much quicker. So we're just going to increase the size of the spot healing tool just so it covers the area maybe just a little bit bigger okay so like that and all you have to do is literally click and I will click and what it does is it takes from around the area um, of the blemish and just basically fills it in so Sam has very few blemishes so he's probably not the best example of what would be considered good blemish removal. He really doesn't have anything else. We could try to remove all his freckles, but that would take quite some time. Anyway, uh, the nice thing about having multiple layers, I'll just go back to this uh, image size again. And let's move it over so it fills the screen. Okay, I can do this, remove, and then turn on. So you can see here the blemishes are gone. If I turn it off, you can see the old blemishes, okay? So that's layer one. The next layer, duplicate the layer, we're going to be um, whites of eyes. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust the whites of his eyes to be a little bit brighter to make his eyes pop. So what we're going to do is get the lasso tool. And it's easier if you zoom in quite a bit. So I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here. And I'm using a touchpad, so this is a bit of a pain. I probably should get a mouse. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hold down the shift key, which was bad. Let's do that again. Hold down the shift key. So there's one fade. I'm doing this very roughly and just scroll over. Hold down the shift key again. And again. So shift key. Now in order to make this actually work well, it is good to soften the edge of it with the feather. And I'm going to make it three pixel feather. And then what we do is I'm just going to zoom back a bit so I can see both eyes. And then I'm just going to lighten them. So adjustment, break some contrast, and you're just going to lighten it a bit. You lighten it too far and it's going to look a little strange. And I'm just going to reduce the contrast, which will smooth out the color a bit. Okay, and Command D will remove that. And if we want to see the difference, we just go take that off. And it's just slightly brighter, not too obnoxiously bright, which would make his eyes look uh, really, really strange. But um, that works a lot better. Okay, so that's the whites of the eyes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, duplicate the layer, is, let's see. Oh yeah, skin softening. Skin softening. Now this requires a little bit of work, so I'm just going to zoom back a bit. And what we want to do is we want to capture all his skin. Okay, I don't want any distracting things in the background here. And I'm going to use the quick selection tool to start and then make modifications as I go. So right now, I'm just going to try and select all his skin, which is essentially his face and his neck. Okay. I'm just 
go there, then up here. Not so much there. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of his hair here. Pull down the option key and I can get rid of this. Yeah, I don't want to soften his ear. And around here, just get rid of this. Here. And that's not bad, actually. Um, let's see. Now, what you want to do is you actually want to remove certain aspects of his face. Okay, in here. Okay, like his eyes and his eyebrows. So I'm going to hold down the option key and do the same thing. Try and get rid of his eye here. And again, it's going to be a rough selection and then a refinement later. Okay, and I'll do his eyebrow. That. And his eyebrow here. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the lasso tool and just sort of make a better exact selection there. So I'm just subtracting a little bit more accurately with that. Same thing with this. I want his eyelashes into this selection. And actually, I want these little edges here. I don't want to lose them. Now, you'll see when I actually do this one that this is not a good choice of a photograph to do softening with. The reason being is it is so noisy in terms of um, in terms of um, the actual grain of the photograph just because I shot with 6400 um, ISO. So what I'm doing here is I really want this edge to show up so I want to keep just a small portion of the edge of his nose um, sharp so I'm making sure I don't blur it. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with his mouth. I'm going to remove his lips as well from the softening so that his mouth remains sharp as well. Now you're going to see it's from a distance this is going to look good, but up close it's going to look pretty gross. Okay, so again we're going to run the softening, uh, the uh, feathered edge. So feathered edge. Uh, we'll do three pixels again. Okay, and then what we're going to do is run a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. And you can see already I had it at 3.2, which is actually pretty good. Um, maybe I'll reduce it just a bit, maybe 2.6, and click. Okay, now, oh, that's over, it's showing black. Normally what you'll see here is part of the skin. This one is why it's showing black. That's odd. Anyway, we won't worry about it. Click OK. And now what I'm going to do is just turn it on and off. So you can see it's sharper there, except you can see a lot of these sort of little bumps and blemishes. But if I soften the skin a little bit, it blurs it out and it makes the skin a little softer. Okay. Now if I do this, if I look, a little sharper, a little softer. But because the eyes and the edge of the nose and the mouth remains sharp, all it does is look like the skin is smoother. Okay. The next stage after skin softening is going to be eye color change. Now, if you recall this one, I'm going to try and get through this one quickly because I know this video is getting long. Okay, remember how to select. I'm holding down the shift and the space bar at the same time as I click. And that way I can move the circle. So hold down the space bar, move it over, move it a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, and then to subtract, hold down the option key. Again, move it over. Option key again, space bar, move it over. Okay, and now whoop, the lasso tool to remove this top edge. Again, that's the option key. This is very difficult with a trackpad. <laughs> Oops. 
Oops, that was bad. Let's add that piece back in. Okay, and that's good. Again, I'm going to feather the edge slightly. That'll be good three. And now, if you recall, the way we change color is going into channels. I'm going to change his eyes to green. And remember, it has to be just a, a mild increase. So we're just going to increase it a bit here. Okay, about there. And I'll increase the contrast a touch just to bring out some of those highlights. And then I'm going to lower the blue because he has slightly blue eyes. So I'm going to make that slightly darker. And then the red channel should already be dark, but we will drop it just a touch. Okay, and then if I deselect and go back to the RGB channel, yeah, that is a good, that's a good to color change. Okay, so there's the eye color change. The last stage is going to be the liquify. And the liquify, we are going to just adjust his facial shape. And how's that going to look? Well, Sam looks pretty good already, but we have to make the modification. <laughs> so we'll go into liquify. <clears throat> and the adjustment we're going to make is we're just going to make his face narrower and his nose narrower. So I'm going to take a fairly large circle, and we're only going to use um, the forward warp tool. And we just hold this down, and we'll just pull his cheek in slightly. We don't want any pointiness to his cheek here. And you have to do it evenly on both sides. That is not looking very good. I'm not liking that. I think I need this circle to restore all. I'm going to make the circle bigger. Let's try a larger one. Yeah, that's better. Like that. And now we're just going to narrow his nose. So the narrowing of his nose, we'll have to make the circle slightly smaller. So bring that touch, and this touch, and want to be symmetrical, so we do that, and that, and that's enough. Click OK, and now if we look at the difference, from there to there, and that would be considered a finished product for your glamour shot.